scientists reveal that a void, quote unquote, hurtling through the solar system blew up Mars' atmosphere. Could you imagine this? And this is an illustration showing the induced magnetic field around Mars, yellow, and the solar wind blowing shock, purple. The void left in the wake of a particularly powerful gust of solar wind caused the atmosphere of Mars to dramatically balloon outwards, they said. As the MAVEN spacecraft in orbit around Mars recorded a sudden sharp drop in solar particles when the wind passed on December 26, 2022, the solar wind that is, it simultaneously recorded a bizarre and startling change in the Martian atmosphere. The planet's magnetosphere and ionosphere were expanded thousands of kilometers, more than tripling in size. The last time we saw this phenomenon was in 1999, when a sudden drop in the solar wind caused Earth's magnetosphere to swell outwards, increasing its volume a hundredfold. It's a rare glimpse how Mars behaves when its conditions in the solar system suddenly change and could give us some insights into how solar system-like planets interact with their environments around different kinds of stars. It's also a kind of measurement that can only be made in situ, demonstrating the value of putting spacecraft in orbit around different worlds in our solar system to see how they interact with everything else. When we first saw the data and how dramatic the drop in the solar wind was, it was almost inevitable, says astronomer Jasper Halekas of the University of Iowa and the lead author in the new study on the event. He said, we found, we formed a working group to study the event and we found this time period to, uh, to be rich with incredible findings. The solar wind is more or less constant in the solar system and all of the planets are embedded in it it's a stream of particles that blow out from the sun in all directions, all the time, creating ambient pressure throughout the solar system, weakening with distance and eventually subsiding at a boundary known as the heliopause. But the strength of that stream can fluctuate with solar activity. For instance, regions of weakened solar magnetic fields on the surface of the sun can release a more powerful solar wind bombarding the system with stronger, more numerous solar particles. The wind that gushes by, gushed by Mars on December 26, 2022 was different again. It consisted of two solar winds, a slower one that was swept up and engulfed by a faster wind coming in from behind before continuing outwards as one wind, one super wind. MAVEN recorded the highest density of particles from this double solar wind. Once the wind passed by, the orbiting observatory detected a significant drop in particle density, a rare void of extremely weak and low density solar wind, and a drop in solar wind pressures as well. The density dropped to a factor of 100, the pressure dropped by a factor of 10. And as the pressure around it dropped, the Martian atmosphere responded. The solar wind typically pushes against the planet's magnetosphere, which on planets like Earth is largely generated by the churning of its molten insides. Now, Mars does not have a global magnetosphere of its own, but it has what is known as an induced magnetic field created by magnetic fields embedded in the solar wind becoming tangled in Mars' ionosphere. This ionosphere and the induced magnetic field therein vastly expanded outwards like Mars' atmosphere was ticking off to a too tight corset. The induced magnetic field became unmagnetized, and the layer between it and the solar wind, the bow shock, grew much calmer than usual. And this, the researchers say, could yield valuable insights into how atmospheric loss occurs on Mars and planets, like it elsewhere in the galaxy, and it could be an important piece of the puzzle when identifying what makes a planet habitable. We're really getting to see how Mars responds when the solar wind is effectively removed, Halika says. It makes for a greater outlier study on what Mars would be like if it were orbiting a less windy star. The team presented its findings in the American Geophysical Union Fall Meeting 2023. And this is on 
Science Alert by Michelle Starr. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.